Hello, today's video is on stock number 34687NP, a uh, high temperature thermostat. Uh, let's see, as you can see, it is just a, a board level component. It needs to be protected. Display, LED uh, for the relay on off, uh, and four set buttons. Uh, it comes with a probe that's a six millimeter thread by one millimeter. It's about 36 inches long. Uh, high temperature fiberglass insulation to protect it. Okay, let's get into the unit itself. Uh, 12, operates off of 12 volts DC, kind of through, comes into these terminals. It has a uh, single pole, single throw, normally open relay uh, through these two contacts. Audible little alarm. Uh, let's see what else do we have about it. It's about 3 and an eighth inch. You see it's one inch square, it's about three and an eighth inch by about two and an eighth inch in size. Uh, it reads Celsius, Celsius only, uh, one degree resolution. It works from minus 30 to 999 degrees Celsius with a plus or minus two degree accuracy with about a one second uh, refresh rate. Okay, let's get into the, uh, the programming of the unit itself now. Uh, you have four buttons. You have enter, set, plus and minus. Uh, you just simply hit the set button once, and that displays the the temperature set point. When it's flashing, you can just simply use the uh, the plus and minus button to set whatever temperature you like. 100 degrees C seems to work well, so for demonstration purposes, so let's we'll keep it at that. Uh, you can hit enter, and it starts displaying ambient air temperature. Now that's, that's the set point. Now it can be used for heating and, or cooling. Uh, I'll show you how to get into programming of that. Now on the set button, you press and hold, and it says P0. Hit a, set again, and you see it's C for cooling, H for heat, back and forth. Uh, we'll start off with the heating mode. You can simply leave it alone for a few seconds, and it goes back to operation mode showing the ambient air temperature. Or let's see what else we got. Press and hold the set button. That's P0. Uh, P1 is the uh, hysteresis setting. You hit set again. It comes factory set at 5, but there again you can see how high it'll go. Well, this is the difference between how long the relay stays on and off. So you can have up to 50 degree C hysteresis setting. Uh, five, five seems to work well, so we'll, we'll stay with that. Leave it alone, it goes back, press and hold the set button again. Then you have P2, oops, P2, set button again. And this is a temperature correction. So if you want, if for some reason the, it is off, you can manually, allows you to do plus or minus, 20 degrees temperature correction. But it comes factory set at zero, and we'll leave it set, put it back at zero here. All right, that's the temperature correction. P2. Now we're going to P3. P3 is a uh, high temperature ter uh, alarm, and it's only high temperature. Oops, let me get back in there. P3, set button again. You can turn it on or off. We'll turn it on. Hit the set button again, and it's, it comes factory set at 999 degrees. But let's run it down to about a 120 degrees C. And I'll show you how that operates here in a moment. Oop, too low. Okay, so high temperature set at 120 degrees. We're at uh, 24. We're in heating mode, and it's set at 100. So right now, as you can see, because we're below 100 degrees C, the uh, the relay. Oh, you I got my heat gun here. Let me just heat this up real quick. Hopefully, that's not too noisy. And it does have about a one-second refresh rate.
So when it hits 100 degrees Celsius, it should turn off. See the relay just turned off. Um, run it up to about 120 degrees. That's the high temperature alarm. So as long as it's above 120 degrees, let's see what. Okay, you can manually turn the alarm part off by pressing any of the buttons. But until it drops below 120, it'll, it'll keep flashing. Okay, see it stopped flashing. Now, I'm going to have my little ice cube here just for cooling. Now when this gets down to 95, the relay will turn back on. That's, that's the heating mode. Okay, let's get in and change this to use it as cooling. P1, P, I'm sorry, P0. Set again, H, C for cooling. Then we can uh, just simply let it... Okay, that means when the uh, relay get, when the probe gets up to 100 degrees Celsius, it will turn on. I'm sorry, actually on 105 because there's a 5 degrees hysteresis. So as soon as it gets to 105, it will turn off. turned on at 105 and it actually the relay will, will turn off when it gets back below 100 degrees C. That is our set point. Go ahead and touch it to a little ice cube just to get it cooling a little quicker. As you see 100 degrees is our is our set point. Okay I think that covers uh, the basic operations of the unit. Hopefully this uh, explains it. If you have any questions let us know. And thank you for watching our video.